All right, buddy, tell us where we're at. We're at NSCC. Well, you just said it, so I don't have to now. It's a moot point. You look like you wanted me to say it. Did I? Did I want you to say it? At these local tournaments, it's not really... It's not ever really about the opponent, but it's much less so about the opponent at a local tournament. Yeah. You're just developing the skill of competing. That's all you're meant to be doing. You're not meant to be compartmentalizing this as like a, a big deal. It's not to say that it's not important, but it's definitely not... It's not as big of a deal as like a, a world championship or something like that. But that, that doesn't mean you don't take it seriously. It just means that you are greasing the groove of your competitive routine, your competitive structure, um, your mentality on the day, and really facing the battle against yourself. Like if you have nerves, learning how to deal with them, learning how to harness them. Um, if you have some things that you're working on, using that and utilizing that in a brand new arena is always really good. And so that's pretty much what I do these for. Everybody wants to sit on the internet and say, well, you can stop bashing blue belt dads, but until they stop feeding me blue belt dads, I won't stop bashing them. <laughs> do you have anything you're working on today? Specific a goal you want to accomplish? I got today? some things. I got some things and I'm going to be implementing them. Um, I will talk to you about it after. Very good. Because then I would have already done them. And if it doesn't go to plan, we'll never know. <laughs> It'll go to plan. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? How are you today? Good. What's going on? I've been losing money on this. Yeah. Boy. goes wild <laughs> the energy is electric isn't it <laughs> dealing with large dudes with really short limbs so they're quite barreled is actually one of the more formidable challenges so think like Orlando Sanchez body types RIP yeah RIP um, Orlando Sanchez body types are actually significantly harder to do things to than long limbed guys yeah um, most people are like oh how do I deal with long legs they're not the ones you should worry about the ones you should worry about are the fucking short stubby guys. 100%, yeah. Really difficult to do things to. So yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Executed exactly what I wanted to. 
didn't let him gain a single advantage, which is good. I liked uh, from the standing position, you sort of built your intensity. Yep. You started on the head, then you started mixing up underhooks. Exactly and like uh, Marigali. Yeah. Marigali against Wagner, who's the perfect case study for wrestling in our sport, in my opinion, because Wagner is very difficult to do things to, and he does not want to get close to you. And Marigali was able to close the distance effectively without giving up any advantages and then put him to his back, which is very impressive. Yeah. Uh, Luke Griffith versus Kynan also. Really yeah. good case study for that. Very similar styles, obviously taught from the same team. Um, but I think that's the, at least today's current day and age, is that's the premier. And so that's pretty much what I embodied. You would have seen in that example, pulling on the head, pulling on the head, two hands on the opponent, punch for an underhook, don't even go for it. Punch for an underhook, don't go for it. You're just setting the trap, setting the bait, so that when they do hunker down on the wizard, your arm's not there, and their down blocking hand's taken away from the single leg. You get the single leg, they fall over every time. Yeah. That was good. Well, good job. Little three piece combo. Um, so we'll sit and wait here, watch you guys compete, and then head to the absolute in the afternoon. Beautiful. Can't wait. I will not see you in there. No, you won't. No, you won't. No. The first time I've seen you compete in a Sydney West Rashi in a long time, and it's the prized Hugo Boss one. Yes. I feel powerful. Showed off some nice camping ability in that one. Uh-huh. He said, uh, yeah, why didn't you stand up? I said, because I saw you warming up with judo and fuck you, that's why. <laughs> he found that pretty funny. That's but that's, that's the thing, right? Like you should be diverse enough to produce your skill set anywhere yeah. and everywhere. So you gotta be ready at all times for every um, possibility. And yeah, he wanted to stand up more, so I didn't give it to him. to work, Sapo.
He might have just been using it to escape the DNA. Because he went for it, I'm like, this, I'm like, this won't work. work. And I was like, this is working. Oh, oh. Yeah, when we'll be out now. That was beautiful. 40 seconds to points, Josh. <laughs> The local bully. Can't let anyone have anything. I know, get ready for Can't let anyone be the absolute winner of ADCC. It only comes because he enjoys to take my money. That's it. No other reason. Good work today, double gold. Yep. And we're clearly going out there and working on some uh, new passing, so tell us how all that went. Another day eviscerating the lower ranked, lighter weight class belts in local competition. Yeah. Just as the internet despises. Also said something funny. He goes, you went from fighting Gordon Ryan to a random dude in Blacktown. Well, the funnier part on that is that anybody who faces Gordon will then subsequently go back to a lower level match, no matter what it is. That's true. So that point is basically irrelevant. Yeah, that's true. That's like saying, oh, you competed at the Super Bowl last week. How is driving the kids to, to school? Yeah. And you're like, yeah, it's not the Super Bowl. That's true. Life, Jake. Indeed. Ups and downs. Indeed. Not today, not that today was a down whatsoever. It was actually thoroughly enjoyable. I like competing. I enjoy the process of it. I enjoy getting nervous. I enjoy dealing with that aspect. I enjoy producing good movement on the mats. Um, there were some things that I wasn't overly pleased with today and there are some things that I am overly pleased with today so in true fashion of competing there's some good shit there's some bad shit you work on the bad shit you uh, respect the good shit continue to improve it but to your point yeah I was working on the, the stuff that Gordon used against me so I guess the babushka doll theory does work yeah definitely you just keep opening up the dolls and continuing on but there were some details that I picked up from the match with him and then We've obviously practiced post-match, um, which, which have been very helpful. And uh, I think in prior competitions, I haven't been able to show the high degree of competency that I just did today, which is great. 
and um, yeah, managed to get some things off that were that were improved. Managed to fuck some things up royally, <laughs> um, but that's okay. In what areas did you were you not happy with your performance? Um, overall efficiency, based on the spastic nature of some of the competitors. Um, some of the passing could have been a lot more smooth. Uh, my far side underhook attempts with the cross face from three quarter mount need to be much better. Yep. I wasn't giving enough credit to the degree of distance between my chest and their shoulder. And so I need to work on that a little bit more to, on particular opponents that are smaller that can snake their hands inside. And look, smothers are funny, but I wasn't intending on finishing either of those matches with a smother. I was trying to get their arms above their body, uh, arms above their shoulders. Um, but they ended up tapping to smothers anyway, so I can't help that. Um, the third match was a rear naked strangle. I put it across his face because he elbowed me and didn't say sorry. Not joking. Uh, my fucking tongue hurts and everyone's like, well, you should wear a mouth guard. Well, shouldn't elbow me in the face. Uh, and then the last one was a Mason Fowler style um, back compression, but Luke said he had a somewhat of an intercostal injury afterwards. So that's probably why he, he tapped so quickly. He also said to me that you fixed it. Because oh. he feels better now since you popped him. Oh. Well, I'm a fucking chiropractor now, aren't I? <laughs> Literally the personification of that trash can that Homer pushes people over and fixes their spines. That's exactly that. That is exactly what I am. Yeah. That trash can. <laughs> but anyway, it was a, uh, a joyous day competing. It was very long. Yeah, very long. Great. How was your competition efforts, Jacob? Uh, not so good. Shit the bed like usual? A little bit. Well, yeah, it was some tactical mistakes that I made. That's okay though, we've fixed that. It's alright, you can rewatch the speech that I just gave and implement that into your game. You're lucky I'm an editor, I get to see all these things over and over again, so... That you do. That you do. And the ever-evolving cocooning, or breaking of the cocoon, of technique. Yep. That's why we do it. It was a pleasure watching you work, my friend. Shut up. <laughs>